Hello traders out there in trader land. My name's Dez here at Grok Trade. Welcome to the weekend edition, which is good through Sunday, December 12, 2010. And the markets continue to climb northbound. Listen, as far as the sector rotations are concerned, we have financials for the week leading the charge up 2%. I'm very bullish. Let's take a look at the technicals. We're going to start off here on the S&P Daily. On the weekend edition, we always do the daily, weekly, and monthly. These are very thorough videos, and these are ones that you definitely want to share with a friend. Make sure your other trading colleagues know about this. This will help you out in a huge way. Now, on the daily and the S&P, what we have here big symmetrical triangle that broke out we do a bull pullback it turns into what comes out to be what's called a bullish pennant the bullish pennant breaks out goes into a mini me mini me high base and then we start to break out yet again now we're up roughly eight bars eight bars um, and this is uh, beyond the norm normally you'll get a correction a high base or something else that will ensue after so many bars up can we still keep going up absolutely and the next area of resistance would be right around 1250 on the daily now let's go to a higher time frame let's go to the weekly here and on the weekly on the s p we had this big symmetrical triangle it broke out does a nice beautiful bull pullback from the bull pullback um, we last week we ended up blasting through a lot of major moving averages today we are or this week we have cleared all of this area showing nothing but upside potential at this moment so let's take a look here at the monthly and the monthly right here and get this line back up a little bit so you can see the whole chart here we have an uptrend this uptrend we're we're up um, a number of bars here and we have made a higher high higher low so we continue in this up leg what's nice is we cleared this area of resistance that's the 1227 that we were watching we closed at 1240 1240 could be a resistance area that's where we're at um, on the monthly so um, listen we still got a lot of month left so let's keep an eye on this market and let's go to the Dow now the Dow you'll see we just have a high base we hit we pull back we come up we have a high base that really hasn't broke out yet for the markets to go bullish we need to break out of that and also clear this high and if we can clear this high and that puts it around 11450 if we can clear that area that would be bullish I'd like to see volume come in confirming that movement now here's the weekly the weekly on the Dow nice bull pullback we run up we got this major resistance that we're fighting we need to blast through that and here on the monthly um, we have run up a bull pullback we're running making higher highs but we got major major resistance so i need to get on the monthly 11,530. 11,530 is the area we need to clear but right now for the month if we don't go any higher then this area of 11458 look at this that could be a tweezer top reversal pattern and this could come crashing down we need to go at least higher than that so keep your eye on the dow let's go to the nasdaq nasdaq daily is looking as bullish as you can get look at this we just continue higher higher making these all-time highs you have the dow now at a, or the s p at a two-year high right now very bullish and the nasdaq is showing some significant strength to the upside but we look pretty extended the question is when will it take a break or relax a little bit here's the weekly on the nasdaq the weekly on the nasdaq we are challenging a trend line here we're starting to pop over it we need to keep going next area of resistance would be right here around 2700 be watching 2700 on the weekly and then when it comes to the monthly the monthly we're up a number of bars making higher highs we really need to get up here past this 2800 area we need to keep going up to maintain this strength to make this channel that we're in to really solidify it let me show you what's happening in small caps here in the russell's 2000 russell's 2000 nice run an impressive run but right now we're getting ready to smack our head at some nice resistance be looking forward uh, for a drop to ensue if we do hit that resistance 
And when we look at the weekly on the Russells, the weekly on the Russells is plowing through a lot, but we're hanging up on the weekly. You can see we hung up right out that 775 area and a half. See that? I mean, that's right where we're at. Next area would be right at 800. Be looking for that if we can keep going up next week. And then the monthly on the Russells is right here. Um, we have a nice uptrend. We, um, we're going to find resistance at 800. That's just going to be major resistance. So be watching that. But everything looks bullish. Across the board, everything looks bullish, but we, we're looking um, pretty extended here. Doesn't mean we can't keep going up. But on the daily, especially the S&P, the one we like to watch, what I would like to see on the... Uh, let me move this down to the, back to the daily. Here's the daily. What I would like to see is a little correction, a pullback take place. And I'll be looking to um, enter long. But if you're in longs right now or if you're a V newsletter subscriber, we're going to be talking about long positions. If they're there and the markets keep going up, play them. Just make sure your stop losses are, are in place because if this corrects, it could correct really fast, just like this. See how this ran up, 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 up. Look at this correction. When, um, so what we're looking for is a correction. Look for a trend reversal, a bounce, and then re-enter all your longs at that moment because that's what I am looking for. Listen, a, a couple bits of information for you. Um, this Wednesday night, we have a very popular hedging webinar that we're doing that evening. It's two hours. What is hedging? It's simply you having trades on, putting on other trades that offset the trades that you're in. So it's a way of protecting your capital. Remember, trading is all about capital preservation. Uh, so what we want to focus on is how do we safeguard our money? Hedging is a great way of doing it. What you, I trade with stop losses and also employ the hedging techniques. I will share with you all my secrets this Wednesday night, um, and you could utilize those. This is a great way to protect yourself overnight, protect yourself over a weekend, or protect yourself over major economic events. So if you want to learn about this, feel free to sign up. All you do is go to the homepage at freeonlinetradingeducation.com. Go down to the calendar of events and you'll see Hedging Seminar December 15th. Click on that. You can click a link in there and you will be signed up for that. Another thing, we only have two seats left. If you want to be a part of the very last 2010 mentorship, Grok mentorship, you have that opportunity one week from um, this weekend. It will be December 18th, 19th, and 20th, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. If you want to be a part of that, I would highly recommend that you get signed up right now. Fees will be going up. This will be the last time you will get these discounted prices for your mentoring. So there it is. Thank you for being a part of Grok Trade, and thank you for being a user. And make sure you do your colleagues a favor by letting them know about us. And keep your eyes open this week because this week we will be introducing to you the very powerful, very thorough Grok Trade 101 educational videos. And they are very good. You will love it. Take care and safe trading to you.